Whoa, I, I'm uploading another video. I'm on the What Could Go Wrong subreddit where people almost kill themselves. Isn't that great? <laughs> this is great content. Let's watch it. <laughs> what the fuck was he trying to do anyway? Like, I don't get what the, the purpose of that was. I know what the caption is. The caption says he's trying to cut a circle using a table saw. All right, I'm sure there's better ways to cut a circle, first of all. You know, what's sad. That guy had a passion for woodworking. That's something he's enjoyed doing since he was a wee little child with his daddy. And now he's going to think twice before he gets in that fucking shed and works on any more wood. Yeah. See, all those fucking trees that, that are fucking getting cut, chopped, and all that shit, they're getting their revenge. That was karma. Cutting through grass to get around traffic. I hate fucking douchebags and fucking Jeep Wranglers thinking they can... Look at that. This guy just fucking knocked out the electricity of half the fucking state because he was impatient. He had a fucking lifted Jeep. He was like, oh yeah, I can go off-road. I've got a Jeep. I can go through mud. Ugh. Well, you can go through mud, but, you know, the biggest obstacle in your life will be your stupidity. You know, it's bigger than any rock that your car can crawl. Your own stupidity. Eat that, dog. Wow, don't you love whenever big SUVs get stuck? <laughs> and then your little compact fucking Toyota Corolla with a dog. Corolla, dude. Did. Manhandle this hill like it's nothing. Yeah, it. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so much for nothing. Oh, man. I love how he just accepted his fate. He was like, you know what? I deserve that. Look. Me and this guy have a very similar t thought process. If there's snow outside, I will drive my fucking two-wheel drive fucking shitbox while there's SUVs on the road just to prove to myself, you know what, I don't need that big fucking SUV. As you just noticed, I hated it on a Jeep 10 seconds ago. So this is something I would do. I can see myself in this man's shoes. I've been in those shoes. I've literally gotten stuck in a field full of snow and a Jeep has rescued me. So, you know, everything I've said bad about Jeeps, you know. I'm sorry. I apologize. Okay, flying a drone above streamer cannons. What could go wrong? Let me guess. The fucking drone gets shot down? Why? Yeah, I know what's gonna go wrong. No need to spoil it. It's another one of those dumbass gender reveal parties. You know, if this was me, I would be aiming at the fucking cannon. No, I would be aiming the cannon at the damn drone. That would be my objective. Knock that shit down. Alright, it's still there. Resilient little piece of shit. Last one. There we go. Well, here's the thing. That was a fucking piece of shit drone. If all it took was a little bit of fucking pink particles to fucking knock that shit into the water. Guess what? You, need, you needed a better drone, dummy. Good thing there was no kid in the pool. He would have been electrocuted and turned into fucking fried human. I don't know. Passing the bottle. That's dumb. Oh, smacked him in the face. B -b -b Broken nose. Oh, watch that again. One more time, one more time, one more time for good, for good measure. Bam, bam, bam. Oh, that's so sick. There's something satisfying about watching people hurt themselves. That sounds bad, but it's, it, come on, admit it. When somebody like sneezes really hard and flies back, you laugh. When somebody like gets hit in the face with a soccer ball, it's funny. It's, it's funny, bro. Watching people get hurt is funny because you realize you could just as easily be in that position, but you're not. Ha ha, he If you're one of those people who don't laugh at other people's pain, then you're the problem, all right? Okay, this one's predictable. <laughs> look, this is the first second of it. Look, look at it, look, look at it. You, you, know, you know what I see? I see a fire inside with a balloon that's floating. It's probably helium. Guess what? Have you not heard of the fucking Hindenburg? That was not that cool, to be honest. Have people not learned that bad shit happens at gender reveals? Maybe you should just stop, you know? Especially if it involves fire, shit that blows up. Well, there's gotta be a simpler way to just do a gender reveal. How about, how about you give birth, the baby comes out, uh, and then, you know, j invite all your friends over and, you know, just like put a tarp over the crib and then just pull it back. And then whatever color thing the kid's wearing, you know, I don't know. I think gender reveals are dumb as fuck. Why do people care what gender the baby is? It's a fucking baby. 
Classic case of celebrating too early. Let's check this out. Bro, that guy, holy shit, he's moving for a big ass man. He turns around. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. <laughs> man thought he was Usain Bolt who could actually celebrate while he's running. This is you, bro. This is the real you. You gotta admit, bro, the guy is massive, and the fact that he's running that fast is very impressive. He had that race in the bag. All he had to do was focus on himself, but he was like, ah, I'm gonna show this guy up. Yeah, good job. Embarrassing yourself. Oh, look, another gender reveal. Of course. This one we have to read, though, boys and girls. The gender reveal went great. We're gonna have a little Madeline Ray. The gun kicked back and hit Ricky in the face, so now we're going for stitches, but it's been an eventful day. Uh, what does a gun have to do with a gender reveal? What, what were you trying to, you were trying to shoot the gender of deer that your child is going to be? What was the, what was the point? Or me, ah, ah, I'm being stupid. There was probably two balloons, or one balloon, and you shoot the balloon, and, 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 the dust tells you if the, the kid's a boy or a girl. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, you know, that's genius. Oh, uh, they're flexing their relationship on us, and then they're flexing their... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck just happened. What were you trying to do? It doesn't even look that deep. You were trying to dive into that shit? You know, I don't know, man. <laughs> that guy's head looked like it actually hit the rock. Oh, damn. The fu fuck part is she fucking pulled him down with her. That's what these women do. They pull good men down with... Ooh. Put me on a nice guy subreddit, bro. This is all the woman's fault, 100%. I don't blame the guy at all. She fucking... She was going down. She thought she'll take him down with her. Oh, that's great. Wait, did he fucking... He tried to stop her, too. <laughs> oh. What could go wrong? Getting them gains. It's a young woman filming at the gym. Very controversial nowadays. Okay, so she's got a shit ton of weight on her shoulders. Trying to do calf raves. Calf raises. And she's standing on a rickety platform. What could go wrong? Yup. STUPID! <laughs> Yo, she's mad lucky. That Smith machine had a like a safety thing it stopped early at some gyms that shit goes down all the way to the ground she would have been fucking guillotined she would have been beheaded in 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 some gyms and then the next thing is what are you filming you're filming the front part you're not even filming your calves aren't you trying to see the muscle activate see your form how the fuck are you gonna see your calf raves form if you're not even pointing the camera at your calves you're showing me your front your knees, your thighs, your, 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 whatever the hell the front of your body is called. The front of your body, I guess. As much as I just criticized her, she's lucky as fuck to be alive, bro. And I'm glad she survived and she was on that Smith machine. Because that shit could have gone very wrong. Very wrong, eh? He let his friend borrow his car. That's a recipe for disaster. Adam. <laughs> bro. That's all you have to say about that? <laughs> Adam most definitely is not his bro anymore. And he would not be my bro if he did that to my car. No, no, no. Adam is no more my bro. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm out of things to say, evidently. I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a different subreddit than usual. I'm glad I'm back this early because, uh, you know, I actually feel normal for once. Please. If you enjoyed that video, like and subscribe for more Reddit content at some point down the line in the distant future. Hopefully not that distant. And uh, if you have any recommendations for subreddits for me to go on, please write them down. I will go to them. I appreciate you for watching. Uh, and I uh, hope you have a good time until the next time I see you. Usually I end my videos in, in some mad tirade and it just cuts off randomly. I think I should do that again, but I don't know what to rant about, so I shouldn't end on the piece, should I? Uh, what am I gonna stop this video on? That's a great fucking question. Let me tell you guys about the egocentric predicament. Have you heard about this? Oh, this is great. There is a thought process that is called solipsism. <clears throat> Some people believe in this thing, alright? I personally... Well, 
you can't not believe in the idea because you can't disprove it. Have you heard of the egocentric predicament? No, you have not, I bet, huh? Let me tell you what the egocentric predicament is. It is basically a fact that you cannot prove or disprove that everything around you is real. You cannot prove anything around you is real. In fact, it could just be a figment of your brain. It could just be something your brain made up and none of it's real. You know, you can't prove that that is not the case. You cannot prove that everything around you is real. It is actually impossible to prove that all your surroundings actually exist. It could all be a figment of your brain's imagination. You know, just some stimulus and you could just be some brain lying in a jar if that's how you want to see it. Or you could just be sleeping. You could just be lying somewhere and your brain is just stimulating you, making you think that everything around you is real. I cannot prove that my mom and dad are real. I cannot prove that my friends are real. There's no way to prove that shit. Isn't that amazing, bro? Oh my god. You guys should read about this. You, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna host